Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to use JavaScript to extract text from a PDF document. Okay, so uh, today's example is going to be using Node.js and the Express framework for uh, the server side. Okay, now we're also going to be uh, using a library called PDF Parse, and this library right here is available on NPM and it is actually super easy to use and it's going to as the name suggests, take your PDF file and then extract the text from it. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to build something like this where you're able to choose a PDF file. For example, something like this. If I was to now press upload, we're going to see uh, the text contents of that PDF file in the text area right down below. And as we can see, uh, this example PDF is simply just this PDF file right here, which I created for this video. And we, as we can see, all of the text has been perfectly extracted um, right down here um, inside that text area. So let's go inside this tab right here, or let's actually go inside the text editor right here and begin from scratch to create what I just showed you. Okay, so heading inside the text uh, editor, I've got this empty directory with only a file or sorry, a folder called samples containing the PDF. Okay, so the first step here is going to be to head inside the terminal and assuming you have Node.js installed, we'll just say npm init y to create a new Node.js project. Okay. We can now install our dependencies. So in this case here, we're going to say npm i, we're going to need express, we'll also need express dash file upload in order to of course support uploading files, as well as uh, the PDF dash parse library itself. Okay, so now once all of these dependencies are installed in our project here, we can create a new file called index.js and this right here is going to be the main entry point for our server side. So now let's include those dependencies. I'll say const express equal to require then passing through here express just like that. Then I'll also take through a constant called file upload. This is for our file upload middleware. So we'll say express dash file upload. Then lastly here, a constant called PDF parse, of course, requiring in the library for PDF parse right there. So now we can hop down here and define our express application. So we'll say const app is equal to express just like that. And now we're going to need to serve some HTML. So of course, as you saw in my example, we've got an HTML document presented to the user. So this right here is going to sit within a directory called public. So make a new directory right here and then inside here, make a new file called index.html. Um, if I was to now place some HTML inside here, I can say something like hello, just like that. And then going back inside the index.js for the server side, I can now say app.use and we're going to be using express.static here. So we'll say when the user goes to the root of the application, so just simply a forward slash, then we're going to say express.static and then serve the public directory just like that. So now um, I can just simply do app.listen on port 3000. And now if I was to save this and then hop down the console and I say node dot, sorry, node and then index.js, go inside the browser now. And then at port 3000, we should see hello right there. And we do. So the HTML file is working. The next step when it comes to the server side here is just going to be to say app.use and then also activate the file upload middleware. This will then allow us to upload files and access them using the files property on the request object. Okay, so just save this right here and then rerun your application just like that. And we're good to go from this point onwards. So we're going to be revisiting this index.js server side script. But for now, let's head inside the index HTML and build the user interface for the file or the PDF uh, extraction. Okay, so inside the body right here, let's make a new input field with a type of file. 
we can remove the name attribute uh, and then also just keep the ID and say something like INP file. We can now make a second element here called button or uh, it, it's going to be a button, right? And it's going to have a type here of also button. Now this one here is of course going to be the upload button. So we'll say ID INP or my mistake, BTN upload, okay? Then something like upload inside there as the display text. Now, we're gonna also need to specify two line breaks here. This is just because I, a bit lazy today and I don't wanna you know, put some sophisticated CSS for our solution, so make sure you guys do actually use CSS here. Um, but anyway, that's okay. Um, we can now specify a text area and uh, we can remove the name attribute as well as the columns and the rows. Going to keep the ID and we'll just say something like uh, result text. Now optionally, you can also include a placeholder here to say something like your PDF text will appear here. That's of course totally up to you. I'm also going to apply some basic CSS. I'll just set a width of 300 pixels here and a height of 150 just like that. So now, if I was to save this and go inside the browser, refresh the page, we get something like this. So now, of course, let's write some JavaScript code, which is going to um, allow us to upload a PDF document and we're gonna send it to the server side. So the way it's gonna work is, once this page here sends the PDF file to the server side, the server is then gonna respond and say, look, here we go, this is your text. Okay, so going back inside the index HTML, let's create um, a new script tag here uh, before the end of the body. And we're gonna be saying this, we'll say uh, const uh, btn upload equal to document dot get element by ID, then passing through here, btn upload just like that. So of course, now let's make a few more references. So basically just here, we're simply getting a reference to uh, all of our HTML elements. Okay, so we can also say INP file, just like that. And we can also say results text, just like that. So I might want to reorder um, these just because of course the file appears before the button, but that's a whole different story. But we now have our three HTML elements referenced inside the JavaScript. So now we can do something when the file upload button has been clicked on. So for that, we can just say uh, btn upload dot add event listener. When it gets clicked on, we're going to run this function inside here. So this function is gonna do two things. Firstly, it's gonna build the form data, which includes actually retrieving the file from the input field. And then second, it's going to send that to the server side. So right here we'll say const form data equal to a new form data object just like that. So now, uh, or soon, we're gonna be passing through this form data to a fetch request to of course send it across. We do need to actually add that file in. So we'll say form data dot append and then we're gonna specify this key as being PDF file. So now basically on the server side, it's gonna look for the key called PDF file and go from there. So back inside here now, we're gonna append PDF file. It'll contain the file found at IMP file. So this is just our input field. Then we can say dot files at index zero. So basically just selecting, uh, or it's referencing the file which the user has selected in this input field, just like that. So now dropping down uh, below, we can now make a fetch request and inside here, we're gonna be going to forward slash extract dash text. Okay, and then passing through the options here, it's gonna be a post request. So we'll just say method here as post and then we can drop down and just say the body and the body is now going to be our form data so this right here is going to send off our pdf file to the server side all right so now we can drop down and we can say dot then once we receive a response from the server side we can then interpret that response as being text so we'll say the response.txt just like that. Actually, we need to return uh, response.txt here. We can then say dot then once the uh, 
Uh, once the response has been interpreted as text, we can now simply uh, go, uh, go inside here and we'll say extracted uh, text. And then we can simply, uh, you know, reference the results text text area and say dot value is equal to the extracted text. So it's important to mention here that when I, uh, when I talk about uh, interpreting the response as text, this here is not doing uh, the PDF, you know, uh, conversion. Okay. Um, this is simply just saying, look, uh, the server side is going to respond with some text. It just happens that that text is, you know, similarly named in terms of, you know, text extraction. So um, basically, look, this text here is not, is not actually doing a PDF uh, extraction. So now this is all we need for the front end. Okay, so once the text comes back, we're simply setting it on that text area. So now if I go back in the browser and refresh the page here, I'll select the example PDF. I'll press upload and now we can see we get 404 not found right here. It's actually uh, giving us um, what the express uh, framework uh, returns when a 404 not found is encountered. So. Um, of course, if I was to go to, you know, localhost and forward slash extract PDF, we get the exact same thing. So that's what the browser is doing with that fetch request. So going back inside here now, um, if you go inside the network tab of the developer tools here and go inside the fetch forward slash XHR and just press upload again, we can see if this expands properly. There we go. Um, we can see here that on this request, the payload contains the PDF file as binary. So this right here is good. It means it's being sent across. So now if I go back in the index.js here, we can now define that extract dash text endpoint. So dropping down here, we can now simply just say app dot when it receives a post request at the URL of extract dash text. Okay, we're gonna grab onto the request and the response objects right here. So first thing, we're gonna check for the PDF file. So we'll say if, uh, if there was no request.files um, and, okay, we can say if there is no request.files dot uh, PDF file, then we can simply return a 400 and say, look, you didn't send me a file. So we'll say request.status um, and then pass through here. Oops, my mistake. Response.status. We can pass through here 400. Then we'll say response.end. Very straightforward. Just a bit of protection there in case the user does not send a file. If everything goes well, we can simply call this uh, call this library. So down here, we can simply say PDF parse, then passing through here, uh, request.files.pdf file just like that. Remember, this PDF file comes from this PDF file uh, right here. Okay, cool. So it's going to extract the text from the PDF. We'll then say dot then. Once we have the results, this result here is actually going to be an object. So if I say result dot, you've got plenty of information inside, um, you know, inside this object here for you to experiment with. But in our case, we only want the text. So result dot text. So now it's going to be very straightforward. We'll just say uh, uh, response dot send. Then we can just uh, pass through here. Uh, uh, what is it? Result. There we go. Result.text. Perfect. So now I can open the terminal once again and I can close the application, then run it again. Go inside the browser. I can now uh, refresh this for safe measure. I'll choose a file here, the example.pdf. I'll press upload and the text appears right there. And as we can see uh, in the developer tools here on the response, we have uh, the preview, which of course just simply contains all of um, the text which was extracted. Okay, now you might also find that you get different spaces like up here. You can simply just call uh, dot trim on that string. So going back inside here in the index HTML, we can just say something like uh, 
result text dot value is going to be equal to uh, extracted text um, dot trim just like that and now I can you know refresh it choose a file again uh, upload and now of course our you know our blank lines are removed so that is how to extract text from a PDF document using uh, JavaScript Node.js um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video